Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo and I'm here with CGG Geo Software to show you some tips and tricks in JSON Workbench. Today I'm gonna show you how to perform an inversion taking care of Q attenuation. The dataset I'm using is a synthetic dataset with one well. This is the seismic and also there, there is four horizons, the top of the model base, the top of the reservoir and also a reference horizon. In order to check the frequency content of the seismic, I'm going to change the time gate focusing on the reservoir zone. So here you can see there's a difference in the amplitudes after this structure here and also in the frequency content. If you display the amplitude spectrum, you can see that the left side it has richer amplitude spectrum with higher amplitudes with a central frequency close to 40 Hz and the right side of the fault it has something close to 25 Hz. The first, the model you need to use to estimate the Q factors is the wavelet tools. So once you go to wavelet tools and estimate Q factors, for the trace gate, I'm gonna use just this arbitrary trace gate passing through the well. For the seismic, I'm choosing the seismic I have as a reference and choosing the reference horizon where I know there is no difference in the amplitudes and the frequency spectrum. For the vertical gate I'm going to use the top and base of the model. For the window length I'm using something close to three times the wavelet length and for the shift the same uh, two milliseconds sampling of, same sampling of the seismic. For the band pass I'm just applying high cut filter for 80 hertz with a taper of 10% I'm gonna select constant prior Q of 10,000 and no weight and for the I'm estimating a vertically variant Q and the output's gonna be in this directory here I can also perform a QC before running this so I'm selecting the same trace gate the arbitrary line and I'm gonna generate this QC here you can see the inverse of the Q factor, the scale factor that's estimated along with the Q factor in order to match the amplitudes of your input seismic. Here is the central frequency of your seismic and here is the central frequency of the seismic after applying the Q factor. You can see that it's better it has a better continuity after applying the Q factor. The central frequency is now something close to 40, 40 Hz on both sides of the fault. I'm happy with the results. I'm going to click apply. Once it's generated, what I have to do is uh, estimate the Q based wavelet. This Q based uh, wavelet is a redactum wavelet that is estimated using a wavelet estimated in the reservoir zone using wells and also the Q and scale factors that you just estimated. For the reference wavelet, I'm using this wavelet I estimated before using the wells. As output, I'm gonna choose the name this redactum predatum wavelet. You can also QC the wavelets that's going to be generated using this redatum wavelet. So here I'm, cho I'm choosing the same trace gate and for the QC time level I'm choosing the top of the reservoir. And this is the wavelets that have been generated. 
with this Q and scale factors and you can see that it resembles the wavelets or the frequency content of your data I hit apply once I have the retatum wavelet and the Q and scale factor I can go to the inversion so in inversion invert trace plus I have a session already set up and I'm just going to change the wavelet now I'm using the redatum wavelet and also I'm going to edit advanced wavelet interpolation modifiers for the reference I'm choosing the reference horizon for the Q value I'm choosing the seismic properties uh, estimated key fa Q factor and for the scale factor the estimated scale factor I'm going to apply only on the amplitude not the phase you can see here that uh, there is no phase change across the fault only amplitude here I can also uh, do a wavelet QC for the trace gate I'm gonna select the same trace gate I use it to estimate the wavelet at the well and for the vertical gate the same vertical gate I use it to estimate this wavelet at the well location too here is the reconstructed wavelet using the redatum wavelet and the Q factor and the scale factor and now I'm going to add the wavelet estimated at the well location you can see there is a very good match so to have higher confidence on the Q factor and scale factor you can also perform some QC in the arbitrary line you can select the desired wavelet and show the deconvolved seismic So here is the input seismic and here is just the deconvolved seismic and you can see that the, the amplitude problem has been taken care of. Once you are good, you will click OK and output generate. I'm going to select this different directory with compensation and I'm going to output a band pass impedance result. So here I'm going to add the uh, uh, previous uh, inversion that I did without the Q compensated wavelet using only the wavelet estimated at the reservoir zone using this well. And here you can see the just created uh, inverted uh, band pass impedance with compensation. So you can see that uh, in the left part is quite the same but on the right it has been has corrected this different uh, frequency content of your data so thank you for your time and see you on the next two print tricks